Hello, in this video I will try to explain to you what nested instances are and that they are very easy to create. And in fact, it's a very, very useful thing that saves you time. Let's assume a scenario where you have several components. Our main component looks like this. It has, surprisingly, two icons, text, and that's basically it. Next, we took this component like this and pulled it out and created another component. We have two different variants, but the main component is located here. We can change the text. You see that they are linked to each other. What problem do we encounter here? Here we have a component with variants. Here we have the main component. In my case, I added the nested instances property there. That is, you can, for example, see here that there is a nested instances property. You can change the icon, but then it won't change. Here, because these are already different variants with their own components. Or here. For example, you can also take this variant, the component variant, drop the child component, and by clicking a million times, reaching exactly this icon, you will see that there are nested instances. And you can also change it for yourself. If you click here twice, you can also change the icon for yourself. It's very, uh, very simple here. But what is the problem? The problem is that when you have very complex components within one component, another component from a third component, when all these properties and the attributes are added to different components, the problem becomes that you have to click 300,000 times on a component to reach its properties to get to these attributes. That's why all you need to do is go into the component, which was made from child components and add properties nested instances here. So look, if I go in now, into this second variant of the main components variants, no matter how complicated it sounds, I need to click several times to reach the nested instances. When I select the child component for the first time, you see, I only have two options to choose from. I can, but if I click again, the nested instances will be available here. So that I don't have to click like this thousands of times, I need to go into the previous component that was created at nested instances here and show which properties we inherit, namely instance swap. We put a tick, now we go to our child component and see that instant swap is available from the very beginning. Nowhere to click 300 times. No need. It was hard to understand, I know, but this thing greatly simplifies your life as designers, saving you a lot of time. I hope you understand that if you have created one component, you take its child component and from it create another set of components, tons and instances. You simply must be grateful for watching the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. All useful links will always be in the description, subscribe and goodbye!